there's the Accelerate, Change, or Lose uh, initiative dictated by the uh, Chief of Staff of the Air Force, General Brown. Uh, and in that, we took that personally uh, from the A-10 side. What can we do uh, to help support the fifth gen fight? Uh, we're able to do that here um, based off the unique capabilities given to us by uh, the Navy and the ranges that they have here, specifically over water. Naval Special Warfare, the, the SEALs out here, they have a very unique mission when we take this mission set and we apply it to a real world scenario. Most people don't get to again, interact with them or they don't really see how that process works. So getting to mission plan at, at their space, kind of seeing what their priorities were and what they needed from us uh, is pretty eye-opening. Uh, this is the uh, roughly third time uh, a Datum 160 has been loaded on an A-10. This is the second time in about five days in two extremely dislocated locations that we've loaded a Datum 160 onto an A-10 with our NSW partners. We have a unique ability to provide a lot of capacity of things just based off of the number of weapon stations we have on this aircraft and our ability to go work in austere environments. That opens up weapon stations for other platforms to carry other weapons uh, that may be of a higher priority. And that's really what it comes down to for us in the ATM community, is how do we support those that would be fighting, how can we fight with them, and how can we provide an effect to support them. So I hope we can keep doing this and I hope we can expand it uh, to be both more Air Force assets and more Navy assets.